So, you know, I've been cooking for a long time and I've gathered a lot of the equipment, the air fryers, the smokers, the grills, you know, the cast iron, all that stuff. I've, I've, I've gathered all that stuff over time. But I got an, a message from my nephew, Chris, and Lori got a message from her niece, Allie, saying, hey, we don't have all that stuff. You know, we're in our early 20s, but we like to cook. We don't have all those bells and whistles. So I'm taking Smoke It, Grill It, Cook It to another level, the nieces and nephews edition. It's going to take good recipes, but simplify them so you don't have to have all the bells and whistles, but still elevate the flavor to a level of awesomeness. So on today's Smoke It, Grill It, Cook It, we're going to do the first nieces and nephews edition and we're going to make some brats. But we're not just going to make brats and throw them on the grill or throw them in a pan. We're going to elevate them by putting them in a nice little beer hot tub. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Smoke It, Grill It, and Cook It. All right, so we're gonna put together our little hot tub for the brats. So what I'm gonna do is just turn my uh, stove on here. And again, you can do this on your grill. You can put it in like an aluminum pan or cast iron, uh, like an aluminum half pan or cast iron pan. Put it on the grill, no big deal. But this is kind of for the nieces and nephews edition. So we're gonna make it as simple as we can and we're gonna do it on the stove top. So I got my, uh, my burner on about medium high right now just to get started. This is really easy. It really can't get any easier than that. Well, it probably could get a little easier than this because there's a knife involved, but here's what I want you to do. We're gonna take some brats. These are just good old Johnsonville brats. I didn't go buy some chicken, kale, jalapeno kind of thing. Johnsonville brats. Not beer brats, not Italian sausage. Johnsonville brats. No, I'm not sponsored by Johnsonville yet. Johnsonville, if you're watching, Four, two, three, four, three, nine, nine, eight. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna take a couple of these. I'm gonna plop them in. I'm just gonna use two for right now. I'm not cooking these. I'm not sauteing these like that. I'm just dumping them in. Bell peppers. I like red bell peppers. If you want green, use green. Dump them in. Onions. I took the onion and I kind of cut it in half and then I cut it in strips. So you can see it's kind of like a uh, little thin piece of onion there. Dump them in. Follow me so far. Now, Leinenkugel Summer Shandy. I like to use this. You can use Miller Lite if you want. Matt, your shout out for Miller Lite. Leinenkugel Summer Shandy. Brats, when you think about brats, you think about Wisconsin. Not Wisconsin, Wisconsin, okay? Leinenkugels is made in Milwaukee. This is what you need to use. Don't use an IPA. IPA smells like farts. Don't use an IPA. Use a Leinenkugel Summer Shandy. That's what I'm recommending. That's what you need to do for this recipe. You want to pour enough beer in there to cover all of the onions, all of the peppers, and the brats. A little bit foamy right now. That'll go down. The cool thing about this recipe is I know Chris and Allie are going to love this because there's beer involved, right? But you can put in your beer and then you can drink some. Should have gone with the, I love the summer shandy though. If you've never had this, it's got a little lemon flavor. Lemon's kind of the in trendy thing in cooking right now. Uh, you see all these Food Network things, they're adding lemon zest and blah, 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 blah. So, my beer's in, my brats are in. The, what we created here is a little hot tub without all the diseases floating around like a normal hot tub. I, I, hot tubs, ugh, hotel hot tubs, ugh, gross me out. Anyway. We're creating a little hot tub here for the brats. We're gonna simmer, not boil. Don't boil. Simmer for about 45 minutes. You don't have to watch it. You just get it to the right temperature. Little dancing bubbles, not the big bubbles, little dancing bubbles. And then you let it sit and you let it marry with itself, right? So you got the flavors of the onions, the flavors of the peppers, the flavors of the beer. The one thing you wanna be careful of with the brats, Try not to poke them. Well, don't poke them, right? They're sealed in a casing. You want that casing to stay intact so when we put some, some uh, char on them, the oils and the, the stuff that make it taste really good aren't gonna just spew out all over the place. So, delicately plop them in. Beer, onions, 
pepper. You want to throw some garlic in there, that's great. Don't need to salt it, don't need to pepper it yet. Bring it to a simmer, let it dance 45 minutes, then we're going to put them on the grill. We're back and our brats are done enjoying their little hot tub here. Let me just give you a quick look at that. They're done. The brats are done, but you know, they're kind of grayish looking, so we're going to make them even more sexy looking. So what we're going to do is, I've got a cast iron here. Mother Nature is not really cooperating with us outside, so I'm not going to take these out on the grill. I'm just going to put them in a, a cast iron. So you can use any kind of pan, a frying pan, anything you've got. This is where it's really simple. So if you got a grill, I love to grill them, but if you've just got a pan, use the pan, no big deal. What we're going to do, I'm over medium heat. I put a little pat of butter in the bottom of it just to kind of give a little bit more flavor. We're going to take a brat and we're going to put it in here. Oh, you can kind of hear it saying, oh, hello, I'm nice and happy now. Put the second one in. I'm going to crank that up a little bit. I got it on about medium, medium high. I want to, I want to get some good char. Uh, kind of that browning on the outside again. You want to use some tongs. Don't poke it. You don't want to poke your brats. Okay, so I'm gonna get these things going. Um, after they go for a couple minutes, I'm gonna turn them over so they can brown on the other side. And then I'm gonna add my peppers and onions just so they can caramelize a little bit. So, I'll do that and then we'll be back with the final step of the brats in a hot tub. Alright, so I flipped these puppies over. You can kind of see a little browning there on the outside. Now I'm going to take some onions and some peppers. I'm just going to put them in the same pan to kind of caramelize them a little bit. Onions, peppers. Here's... Oh yeah! Speak to me, baby. Speak to me. Oh yeah, what that does again is they're cooked, they're ready to go if I wanted them just like that. I'm just adding a little bit of caramelization to them, a little, another, another, another layer of flavor. All right, flavor, flavor, flavor. Just kind of stir those around a little bit, get them happy, looking good. My brat, see, let me, let me just give you a nice, see how it's browning on the outside? That's what I want. That's, uh, that's a brat right there, right? We're making them nice and caramelized and charred on the outside. Now, while those are finishing up, the flavor is just going to be fantastic because, again, I had the Lining Kugel, Lining Kugel Summer Shandy inside of the hot tub. I got my caramelized onions working. Now, hot dog bun, right? I like to put mustard on the bottom of mine. I like to use Grey Poupon. It has that little bit of white wine flavor to it. Again, I'm adding layers of flavor. I like to put my mustard on the bottom of the bun, right? I'm then going to take my broth. These are done. These are ready to go. My onions are caramelized. They're nice. they got that just starting to brown a little bit. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put a brat. Look at that. Nice and caramelized. I'm going to slap a brat in there. I'm going to take some caramelized onions and peppers and I'm going to put them right on top. Ooh, that's hot on my hand. Hello. The onion right on the top. You can dress this any way you want it. If you want to put mustard on the top, that's fine. I like to have the mustard on the bottom and the onions and the peppers on top with the brat. The flavor of this is going to be multi-tiered, right? I've got the brat. I've got the caramelization of the onion. I've got the pepper, which adds another layer of flavor, plus the Line and Google Summer Shandy. So this is a flavor bomb in your mouth. I did it all in my kitchen. I don't have a fancy kitchen set up here. I did it all in the kitchen. So it's easy for nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, and it tastes so good. Any, any chef, any home kitchen chef would love it, any culinary trained CIA chef would love it. So, I'm going to take a bite. I'll see you next time on Smoke It, Grill It, and Cook It. Let's bite this sucker. Mmm. Huh. So good. 
so good.